Hello class, it's Mrs. Allen again. I'm here to tell you how you can apply this to real life. You might be saying, well, why do I need to know how to add, subtract, and multiply fractions, Mrs. Allen? How does that really apply to the real world? Well, what I've done is I've looked in my cookbook, Betty Crocker cookbook, and I look for a recipe, maybe it doesn't sound so savory and delicious, but it gives you a great example of how you would need to know how to add, subtract, and multiply fractions. So the recipe I came up with was curried beef with fruit. So you can see we have one package, eight ounces of mixed dry fruit, two and one half cups of boiling water, three teaspoons of curry powder, half a teaspoon of salt, two cloves of garlic, finely chopped, two tablespoons of margarine or butter, two tablespoons of cornstarch, one fourth cup of orange juice, three fourths cup of orange juice, three cups cut up cooked roast beef, six green onions cut into one inch pieces, three cups of cooked hot rice, one third cup of silvered almonds. Now this makes about six servings and that is about one and one half cups each per person. So let's say that your family only needs three servings so you would have to cut the serving sizes into half. So that means that you would have to cut all of this, all of your ingredients into half. So you'd have to divide it by two or you could just subtract half of that amount. Let's say, well, my family is bigger than six people, or maybe people want to eat more than what the serving size recommends, one and a half cups. So let's say you need to double that amount. So what you would do is you would add twice that amount, or you could take it times two. That would give you your whole number. And then you would have mixed numbers times a whole number. And that's how it applies to the real world. So I hope you appreciate this segment of how to add, subtract, and multiply fractions. I miss you. And um, please write to me. Please call me. Um, please email me. Signing out for now. Love you. Bye.